Again, we're going to take this equation, divide it by this one. Looks simple to do. Only simple because I've done a lot of problems, by the way. So what are you going to get over here? x squared plus y squared. And then you're going to get xy plus 1. All right? Now, I realize some of you are looking at it. What am I going to do about that? Um, geez, I don't know. What are you going to do about that? So one, one thing you could do by doing that is maybe use this and this to see what happens, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract these two now, all right? Do my division, I'm gonna do subtraction now. So what would you get? I'm gonna take this one and subtract this one, see what happens. X squared would disappear. You know what, I'm, let me, I'm gonna reverse that. I'm gonna take this and subtract this. So the X squared disappear and you get two Y squared xy minus xy, gee whiz, that disappeared. And one minus a minus one is two, so y squared is equal to one. Boy, that was easy. What's y? y is plus or minus one, all right? So, let's write that down. We'll look at the key later, by the way. So, if y is one, I think you could figure out the x. I'm going to do that using this equation here. So x squared plus 1 equals, again, y is 1, right? You get x plus 1. And what do you get there? You get x squared minus x equals none, which means x, x minus 1 equals 0. I get two solutions there, 0 and I get minus 1, and 1, I'm sorry. I put a box on, I'm done with that. I'm going to do this one now. I'm going to use this equation to do it. What do you get? x squared plus 1 equals minus x plus 1. This reduces to x squared plus x equals 0. I'm going to factor that x, x plus 1. I get two solutions as well. 0 and I get minus 1. Two more solutions. Four solutions. Let's go to the key. Really wasn't a bad problem to do. I'm going to look at the key, and I wonder, did they get those answers? Did they get 1, 1? Yep. Did they get 0, 1? Yep. Did they get 0, minus 1? Yes. Did they get minus 1, minus 1? Yes. They got them all, and I bet they provide a picture, too, to support that information, and that's figure 161. And again, we give you figure 161 for a reason. We like to look at them. These are terribly difficult graphs to do by hand, by the way. I do recommend learning to use technology. It does work out nicely, by the way. Anyway, let me just remind you who I am, Ron Bannon, email address, Bannon, B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Thank you.